so welcome again we discussed about the red color in the bible the red color in the bible what does actually the red color the does bible say anything about red color maybe this is something that i'm trying to figure out here why is it so much love why is, is the red color so much loved by the people of the world it has anything to do and uh, i have been talking about it about uh, about it on my previous video we, if you can check this i have i place it on my on, on at the end of my screen about this video when i was discussing about why the people of the world love this color so much and we have heard that even during in the time on the grammy award uh what that was uh, featured that was actually um it was sponsored by uh featured by pizza that is what well, they say that the red color was so much dominating but it, most importantly it was also many people when what it, when people say that there was this the symbol symbolic a uh, symbolic certain worship in that in that uh, in that building that uh, when they when what does the people mean when they say that is symbolic certain worship uh, what does exactly people mean when they say symbolic certain worship exactly does they say and does they what does exactly they mean when they say that the satanic worship we can see the horns example the symbolic of open giving of taking out the mouth like this that was also what many people was criticizing that in this event was full of satanic worship and uh, but also it was the color red color was dominating that meeting i was talking about we also we in christians we are using red color especially in the christmas does it say anything it does it say anything about um, christmas and i'm just trying to figure out and this is my topic that i'm going to discuss about if the red color has anything to do with um, Christianity or event or what does the Bible say about it the red and what does the Bible speak about the red color it symbolizes it symbolizes sin before I continue I just want to introduce to you the lamemusic.com the lamemusic.com is a music app for Christians that you can you as a Christian you can upload your songs there that which are gospel music so that you can uh, so that uh, and you can start to in loyalty from by when people coming just like it is the same app just like other apps like uh, Spotify or other apps but it is only having all a Christian music and it is a good app that uh, I also have all my songs are there and this is this this app need contribution from the Christian artists so that the, the people the Christians shall have a place where they, it is a very good place where um, Christians they can upload their songs they can upload their podcast and other things and uh, we can also so I'm just trying giving you give you urging you to click on the link below that I will put so you can uh, make it clear you can click there and make your free profile so you can start to listen to the songs for free my songs all my songs are on the lambmusic.com and you can listen it totally free I continue about we are continue about our topic which is the red color in the Bible the red color in the Bible what is the Bible speak about um, the red color 
in Revelation chapter 17, 17 verse 4, what is that does it say? And behold, and the angel carried the spirit into the world, and the angel carried me in the spirit into a wilderness where I saw a woman sitting on the scarlet, sitting on the scarlet beast. You know, scarlet beast, it's red. Scarlet is red. It's just very red, like a blood. Is that the scarlet? Scarlet beast that was covered with the blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was dressed in purple and this scarlet and it adorned with gold and the precious stones and the pearls. She held in her hand a golden cup full of abomination and impurity of her sexual immorality and her. Mm -hmm. Forehead and the forehead, I must her name was written Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes. So you can see that the color red is the color of the Babylon. They say that this woman is that you symbol symbolize you say it's a Babylon, the mother of the prostitutes. So with the sir, maybe we can see that uh, this red color is one of the things that is totally symbolizing it is symbolizing the it is why red i cannot say that red is that i do not mean that i do not criminalize red because of that i do not say that you shall not wear red i do not say either that you shall not use any red color any longer i'm just trying to make you wake up so you started to think critically when you see things which are not okay and this is only that we try to figure out what is this red color exactly what the bible is talking about when the bible is talking about red color what what it does exactly um does has anything to do with the holiness or anything else we can also see that the red color has another sign of red color and another sign appeared in heaven behold a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and the ten horns and the seven in the, in the seven diadems on his head that is revelation chapter 12 but they say that this is the that is the red dragon fell from heaven and this red this dragon was also red so the satin this is the color the red that does it maybe it this is the color of satin uh i just see i'm just see trying to think here I'm trying to be thinker here is the color red the color of Saturn I see when I see things like when I see things like this then I should question myself what do where did they get this revelation in these people did they have any kind of revelation about this color did, did they where did they get this revelation of of um, this this kind of color just an example eh? where did they really get this revelation do they have any connection or anything any bible they are reading do they read the bible or did it is just sitting on the head and then i come again why and i see things like this then i ask also myself has this anything to connect it to any holiness or anything about jesus when during the time of jesus when we are trying to celebrate Jesus and some people are coming up with something like this I just think that we should think that we should be more thinkers of of this guy in the Christmas and in the, in the time of Christmas did this guy really come to occupy to take occupy Jesus 
because they say that he is when he when he or is, has anything to do and why has the day that we Christians have decided to to celebrate the birth of our savior the savior of the world that has taken that has taken the uh, we can also say it has a came to save us from to let it be destroyed by these abominators eh? why do you think that it is who has who is to blame here because we have been so we we have been so naive to think that it is okay i don't think that we should fight but we 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 we, we rest or not against the flesh and blood but the principalities nobody is talking about this that's the reason i decided to talk about it no one is discussing about this then it, that's the reason i discuss about this because these people they are people they are lost and they are making even the deceiving even the uh, they are de deceiving even the 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 people who the people who has already been washed by the blood of Jesus to start to celebrate. This is a scarlet red. This color is a scarlet red. So just trying to think about this. Here, yeah. chapter one, verse eighteen. The Bible says that. It was God say that come now and let us reason together, say the Lord, for your sins be as scarlet, as scarlet or red, as blood, hmm? as, as red as cream. So that Bible says talk about the you, as your sins are right as they shall be as white as snow, say the Lord. So we know that uh, the the color red, I'm um, also scarlet. Oh, that is mean that is the color of the blood is also symbolizing sin in some harm. But also, I can I do not say that uh, it is wrong to say that it is symbolizing blood. But uh, there is a lot of blood. Even if there is the blood of Jesus, that but it is not only the blood of Jesus that has been poured down. But uh, there are also other blood that people are losing when they are being killed. So or they die. Yes, we can see that because maybe we symbolize Jesus has had his blood for us. But does it? Yes, does it say so much enough that this color should symbolize the day of his birth? I just is trying to also think. I don't think that I, those who are using the red color are, how they are sinning. I don't think that, but we just think that because we need to make our bodies as a pleasing sacrifice to God and try to do whatever we can to prove to, to to please our God instead of doing some things or to joining the abominators so we become cursed together with them. Praise the living God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I put all in your hands. I want everyone who has been watching this, Lord, and listening to this, even if I'm trying my best to try to warn people because the meaning of this talking is to make people wake up. It's only, it's only that. So it's been written, by their fruits you will know them. So we must be aware of the kinds of fruits that are spread around the world. Like uh, this is a fruit, so you see red color. Because now we have this red color. When you see a red color, see that you when you see that red color is symbolizing love, people say that. I don't know where this comes from. When you see that, I just come next to the next video where I will discuss even more about this red color.